If you're in the market for a new boiler, you might have recently come across the term combi boiler. And in this video, we're going to give you the ins and outs of combi boilers so you know whether or not it's the best decision for you. And at the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video that talks about one of my favorite combi boilers on the markets, but more on that later. And if you're tuning in for the first time, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you haven't done so already since we put out daily and weekly content on how to get the best HVAC for your home and keep you up to date on the latest in HVAC equipment trends. So first off, what is a combi boiler? A combi boiler is actually just a short term for a combination boiler and it is simply a combination of a high efficiency condensing boiler and a tankless hot water heater. And the reason it's called a combination boiler is well, because it's a combination of a boiler in a tankless hot water heater. Creative title, you would have never guessed, I'm sure. But there are several perks compared to a traditional boiler or high efficiency boiler, which we will talk about in this video. However, there are also some downsides that we will also touch on to try and give you some food for thought that might make you think twice. Now, the biggest benefit to a combination boiler is efficiency for two reasons. Number one is it is more efficient because it is a high efficiency condensing gas boiler. And what this means is that for the amount of natural gas it consumes, it produces more heat energy or more heat energy stays inside the home. And the number two reason it's more efficient is because it is a tankless on-demand hot water heater. So instead of keeping a giant tank full of water hot, like in a traditional water heater, you typically have 40 or 50 gallons being stored at 130 degrees. Regardless of how well that tank is insulated, you will still lose some efficiency just by having to keep the tank full of water hot 24 seven. An added bonus is that a tankless on-demand combi boiler has is on demand, which means that you never run out of hot water because it heats water on demand anytime you turn on a faucet or shower. Now, one of the additional perks of a combi boiler is that you are saving a lot of space compared to a traditional system because you don't have a separate boiler and a separate tank of hot water taking up space in your mechanical room. Now, oftentimes one of our customers' favorite features is how much space they save because they are a wall mounted unit and as an installer of combi boilers, I can tell you as well that I love them for this reason because they make for a nice clean installation in a nice tidy mechanical room when we are finished with the installation. Now, one of the perks I'm going to talk about is also a potential downside if you get the wrong combi boiler, that modulating combi boilers tend to be very quiet. Now, they are typically not as quiet as a natural draft boiler or water heater simply because you don't have an inducer motor on those appliances. But compared to a traditional induced draft boiler, a modulating combi boiler is typically pretty quiet. There is one combi boiler that I absolutely do not recommend and that is the Loch Bar Noble. There's several reasons, but in a nutshell, they are loud and inefficient and unreliable. That's enough sucky things for me to say no thanks. Anyways, now with all these benefits uh, do come a few caveats and let's talk about the biggest downside first. Now, number one is something that most people don't even think about. And that is that with a combi boiler, if your water heater is broken, well, unfortunately, so is your boiler, which means that you'll have a cold house in a nice cold shower to go with it until the HVAC guy can get out there and fix it. And although I don't speak from personal experience because our combi boiler in our house has never failed, I don't think sending my wife a YouTube video about about the benefits of cold plunges and ice baths will go over well if it stops working one day. That being said, I will say it's not a common occurrence, but it does happen from time to time. And it's something to consider and it's something I like to point out anytime I provide an estimate so that people are aware of this. Like I said, it's honestly not that big of a deal. And at the end of this video, also provide a link to one of my favorite combi boilers. So you know which one we recommend if you were asking for a recommendation on a brand. Now, another downside to a combi boiler is there is an added complexity factor when compared to a cast iron boiler or a natural draft water heater. They're not that much more complicated, quite frankly, but you definitely want to make sure the technician that is installing them knows how to do this properly. For example, you want to make sure they know how to properly pipe in a primary loop because if this is done improperly, the boiler and hot water heater might still work but will not function as intended. This is not that big of a downside and it's honestly very easy to mitigate. And the bottom line is you just wanna make sure that the technician you hire knows what they're doing to minimize the chance of an installation error. The bottom line is that if you hire a good company, even if the installer does make a mistake on the installation, they will make it right so that it functions properly. And 
Probably the last downside that is really minor, but it's still something to consider, is that because it is a more complicated system with more moving parts when compared to a traditional cast iron boiler, the repairs could be more expensive when something does break. But these are pretty reliable systems, and for what it's worth, it's what I have installed at my house, and if they were junk, I would not have installed one. And as promised earlier, right now popping up on the screen is a link to another video about one of my favorite boilers in the combi space, and that is the Triangle Tube Instinct. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's a free way you can show some support and it is much appreciated. Thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next episode.